Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Pooja Swami, a second year master student here at NYU uh, Tandon. And uh, I'd first uh, really like to thank the organizers, uh, Randy and Diana, uh, for having given me this opportunity to uh, present and uh, do a bit of uh, from my part uh, in the field of uh, Indian classical music. So I think I'll just wait for uh, two more minutes so that people can come by. Yeah. Uh, also, I would like to add um, two, two points here. Uh, as in when I progress through this presentation of mine, I would, uh, if you have any uh, doubts or if you would like to share your experience or anything and you're shy to come on screen or anything as such, you can just drop in uh, the comments uh, section. You can drop in your comments and uh, experiences. Also, I have uh, dedicated the last uh, 10 minutes of this presentation for a QA and a session. So uh, people who have doubts or who want to share their experience can uh, do the same in that uh, those 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, uh, I think I'm good to start by. Yeah, uh, I hope uh, you guys can see. Uh, could anyone just say that they can see the PPT? Yeah, okay. I'm seeing thumbs up. So yeah. Uh, so this is a, a brief introduction to the Indian classical music. I will be uh, going through specifically uh, uh, Carnatic, uh, like the two different uh, unique styles of Indian classical music, also uh, covering the parts of semi, semi semi classical music, which I have uh, been trained in for a lot of years. Uh, so yeah, uh, so in any uh, given music form, uh, there are three major components that uh, make that a music form. Uh, which is like me which is melody, harmony, and rhythm. Uh, so, in what sets the what sets the Indian music apart from the rest is uh, the fact that Indian uh, ancient Indians uh, were deeply impressed by the spiritual power of music, and Indian classical music was born keeping this in mind. So, most of the music that has uh, most music, as mentioned, has at least three elements, melody, rhythm, and harmony. Uh, because of its contemplative uh, spiritual nature, Indian classical music is a pursuit that focuses mainly on mu melodic development. Uh, so in performance, uh, rhythm also plays an important role, giving the texture and a sense of purpose to the melody. So what, what I have I think given a brief introduction of what makes Indian classical music unique. Uh, or I would also like to add here that uh, the melo melodic development and the spontaneity of an individual who is performing. So it depends. It uh, it acts like a rewarding uh, 
rewarding uh, feature. So the more deeper you go into it, the more rewarding it is for you as a performer. Uh, the elements of Indian classical music is uh, uh, mainly comes to two elements, which are like raga and tala. Uh, the melodic musical mode, which is a set of micro tunes, also called as swaras, uh, that that make the seven basic notes in a given octave, is sung to a rhythmic cycle, which is called tala. Uh, recitals usually involve only a solo instrument or a single voice with. Uh, with a minimal accompaniment consisting of tamburi, uh, which is a string instrument as seen in this picture. Uh, the raga is a melodic structure itself, uh, which is confined to strict rules, but because there is no written score of it, there is no culture of producing an accurate uh, and a copy of a faithful score. So there, it is a blend of purity combined with full freedom of improvisation, which is given for uh, which depends on the performer's innovation. So uh, though for those who take it seriously, Indian classical music involves single-minded devotion and lifelong commitment. But the thing about uh, this form of music is that um, it can be taken as seriously or as casually as we like it. it uh, as I have mentioned before, it is a rewarding experience. No matter how deep or shallow your involvement is, corresponding rewarding factor is what you get at the end. Uh, I would also like to say that there are two distinct traditions of cl classical music in India, which is uh, Hindustani and Carnatic. Both have their own unique styles. I would uh, mainly be focusing on Carnatic classical music, uh, which, uh, uh, which is uh, said to have originated in the southern parts of India. So uh, the term Carnatic classical music what exactly means uh, what is the origin of uh, Karnatic? In, uh, in local language, we call it as Karnataka Shastriya Sangeeta. So uh, here Shastriya means classical, Sangeeta means music. So what is Karnatic? Uh, it can, one of the interpretations can be uh, said as Karna, which means ears, and Ata means to haunt. So the tune that haunts the ear is called Karnatic. Uh, there is also one more uh, interpretation of this uh, this term, which is uh, which has been told as uh, which is which has been told. One second. Yeah, it uh, it basically originates uh, in ancient uh, India. It uh, the southern parts of Vindhyas, southern parts of India, which is uh, Vindhyas, uh, was called as Karnatakam. So the origin uh, correlates to that uh, word as well. And, uh, and also I would like to point out that this has nothing to do with the current state, uh, which is, with whose capital is Bangalore. Yeah. Uh, also when, come, when it comes to exploring the melodic and uh, emotional potential of different ragas, so I would like to uh, like ponder over what a raga is. A raga is an aesthetic melodic form with a particular, uh, particular ascending, uh, which is arohana, and descending movement, which is avarohana. So the the structure of a raga is defined by uh, the rules set by arohana and avarohana of that particular raga. Uh, while I have told that the spontaneity and the innovation of a performer plays in a role in Carnatic music the embellishments of these uh, of these innovations should abide by the rules set by that particular raga uh, there are three octaves mainly uh, which is mandra madhya and tara that resonates with each uh, part of the body uh, like mandra resonates with the heart uh, madhya resonates with the throat and uh, tarastai means uh, the higher octaves that resonate with the head uh, though the traditional uh, tradition of Carnatic music dates back to 9th century, what holds uh, uh, to this day and what is followed is uh, written by the theorist uh, Venkata Maki, which is, and the text is called as uh, Chaturdandi Prakashika. Uh, it is the first landmark classic that, that is still uh, 
that is still bearing that is still born in uh, contemporary Carnatic music. Uh, melas as a means of uh, classifying ragas. So the text mainly uh, speaks about how different ragas are divided into mela mela karta ragas, and how e and what rules they uh, are they should be sung or played by. Uh, this uh, art form encourages imagination bounded by the rules of the raga, extrapolation and interpreta interpretation surrounding the raga. Uh, when it comes to uh, speaking about practitioners, uh, the Sangeeta Pitamaha, who is uh, widely known as Sangeeta Pitamaha, is Purandara Dasa. And uh, he is the person who uh, was once upon a time a, a wealthy merchant of gold from Karnataka, who gave all of, uh, who gave away all his uh, materialistic riches to become the servant of the Lord. Purandara Dasa uh, systematized the entire method of teaching of Carnatic music, uh, which is followed to present date. The uh, the uh, the introduction of raga Maya Madhava Gaula as the base scale for all the beginners. Uh, uh, who learn the basic uh, varase, which are called, which roughly translates to verses, uh, are written in this scale, this particular scale. Uh, and the uh, the verses of this can uh, slightly uh, has variations in it, so that the beginner learns what it is. The beginner basically learns the manodharma or the practice of the way of singing. Uh, or pursuing their music. Uh, I would like to first uh, start by singing one of his uh, very famous uh, Dasara Padagalu, which is uh, known as the songs written by uh, the servant of the Lord. Uh, the philosophy of Purandara Dasa is harmonious uh, with the concept of uh, Bhakti. And here Bhakti uh, roughly translates to devotion. And uh, the philosophy of bhakti in Purandara Dasa's com composition has been rendered in simple Kannada so that the uh, greater part of the society could understand what uh, devotion meant. Um, Uh, this would be my first rendition for this uh, event. Uh, this is written in uh, Kannada as stated. It is set to uh, Shuddha Danyasi Raga and uh, Tala would be Khanda Chapu. <coughs> Smaraneya Saram Rutavu Yenali Gege Barali Nara Yena Ninganamada Smaraneya Saram Rutavu Yenali Gege Barali Nara Yena Ninganamada Smaraniya Saram Rutavu Yenan Ali Gege Barali Narayana Kashta Dali Rali Utkrosta Dali Rali Kashta Dali Rali Utkrosta Dali Rali Yeshtadaru Mati getu irali Kashta dali rali Utkrosta dali rali Yeshtadaru Mati getu irali Krishna Krishna Shishta rupe luva Krishna Krishna yendu Shishta rupe luva Ashtakshara maha 
rendition goes uh, what purandara dasta is trying to say is there should be rhythm there should be melody but but there also should be peace there should be the meter and prosody which uh, may which tells that there should be charana and there should be tala as well and there should also be no confusion but above all there should be love of the lord in the song there should be devotion uh, be it any lord in uh in, of matter it there should be devotion to the song as well as the lord that the performer is thinking about uh purandara dasa also try to reform existing practices in the society and uh, preach to others in the local language kannada by singing devotional songs most of his kirtanes uh, deals with social reform and pinpoints the defects found in the society the mind has to be turned away from the transient pleasures and possessions of this world instead it is to be turned towards the lord who alone is the abode of unadulterated bliss uh, my second rendition would uh, focus on these uh, uh, points that i just stated his uh, kirtanis also have a simple less uh, simple lessons in this regard and implore uh, the society to lead a simplistic life uh the second rendition i will be singing is uh, set to shivaranjani raga adi taala it also uh, comes with another uh, form of uh, composition which is called as ugha boga uh, that just uh, says in uh, common language of kannada to uh, to reach out to the entire society about the normal how to lead a simplistic or a normal life man shuddhi ladavage mantra da phala venu man shuddhi ladavage man ಫಲವೇನು ತನು ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇಲ್ಲದವಗೆ ತೀರ್ಥದ ಫಲವೇನು ಮಿಂದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಲವೇನು ಮಿಂದ ಸಳೆಗಳಂತೆ ಮಿಂದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಲವೇನು ಮೀನು ಮೊಸಳೆಗಳಂತೆ ಹೊರಗೆ ಮಿಂದು ಒಳಗೆ 
ಕಂಡು ನಗುತ್ತಲಿದ್ದ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲ ನಗುತ್ತಲಿದ್ದ ನಮ್ಮ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ದಿನ ದಿನವೂ ಮಾಡುವ ಪಾಪ ಪುಣ್ಯದ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ದಿನ ದಿನವೂ ಮಾಡುವ ಪಾಪ ಪುಣ್ಯದ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಆ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಧರ್ಮ ನ ಧರ್ಮವ ವಿಂಗಡಿಸಿ ಅಧರ್ಮದ ನರಗಳ ಬೇರ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಅಧರ್ಮವ ವಿಂಗಡಿಸಿ ಅಧರ್ಮದ ನರಗಳ ಬೇರ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲಾಚಾರದಿ ಚರಿಸಿ ಚಾರದಿ ಚರಿಸಿ ಪರಬೊಮ್ಮ ಮೂರುತಿ ಪಾದ ಕಮಲವ ಭಜಿಸಿ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ದಿನ ದಿನವೂ ಮಾಡುವ ಪಾಪ ಪುಣ್ಯದ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಆತನ ಭಕ್ತರಿಗೆ ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ ಪಾತಕ ಪತಿತ ಸಂಘವ ಮಾಡ್ತನಲ್ಲ ಆತನ ಭಕ್ತ ಕರಿಗೆ ಕೇಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ ಪಾತಕ ಪತಿತ ಸಂಘವ ಮಾಡ್ತನಲ್ಲ ನೀತಿವಂತರು ಕೇಳಿರಲ್ಲ ನಮಗಾತನೆ ಗತಿವ ಪುರಂದರ ವಿಠಲ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ದಿನ ದಿನವು ಮಾಡುವ ಪಾಪ ಪುಣ್ಯದ ವೆಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಆ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ಆ ಮನವ ಶೋಧಿಸಬೇಕು ನಿಚ್ಚ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸ ದ ಪಿತಾಮಹ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಗೀತ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಪಿಟಿ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಆಫ್ ಪುರಂದರ ದಾಸ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಣ್ಣಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಹೂ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಮೇನ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೈಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ a particular temple which is tirumala temple so uh, this the third rendition that i would uh, like to render is written in sanskrit it is set to yamuna kalyani and uh, khanda chapu tala ಗೋಪಾಲ ಬಾಲ ಮನಸ್ಸೇ 
तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा भवयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा भवयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा भवयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा खटि घटित मेखला खचित मणिकंठिका खटि घटित मेखला खचित मणिकंठिका पठल नद्यन विब्राजमान खटि घटित मेखला खचित मणिकंठिका पठल नद्यन विब्राजमान तुटिल पट तटिता संतुल तुटिल पट तटिता संतुल समुज्वल विराज चतुरटना समुज्वल विराज भावयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा निरत कर कलित नवनीत निरतकर कलित नवनीत निरतकर कलित नवनीत ब्रह्मादि सुरनिखर भावना शोभित पदम निरतकर कलित नवनी ब्रह्मादि सुरनिखर भावना शोभित पदम तिवेकटाचल स्थित तिवेकटाचल स्थित अनुपम हरि तिवेकटाचल स्थित अनुपम हरि परम पुष परम पुष गोपाल बाल भावयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा भावयामि गोपाल बाल मनस्वित तत्पदम चिंत हम सदा Uh, moving on to the practitioners in the Carnatic classical music. Uh, the period of seventeen uh, fifty to eighteen fifty uh, marked one of the uh, main uh, important pavement to the history of Indian classical music, where uh, the Sangeeta Trimurti, uh, which translates to uh, the trio of musicians. Uh, who were composer come musicians uh, uh came into picture and uh, gave a lot contributed 
their contribution is immeasurable in uh, terms of uh, the music as well as the compositions. Uh, it mainly uh, uh, retains the origin originality of raga, which is still uh, uh, which is still rendered and uh, taught by many uh, perform performers in the classical music. And uh, they also uh, retain their own uh, distinct style of rendering. Uh, and they are mainly set in the languages uh, Sanskrit and uh, Telugu. Uh, the Kritis of Trimurti uh, are conceived generally as musical compositions and their poetry, however impressive, is mainly uh, uh, about bringing up of the musical structure. Uh, the musical thought rather than the poetic thought seem to determine, determine their uh, structural pattern. Uh, the Kritis uh, are, uh, of uh, Thya Saint Tyagaraja in particular are uh, noted for their musical content and beauty of language and presentation. Uh, the supreme uh, divine quality of music uh, that comes from his uh, spiritual prowess and devotion, uh, which is known as Bhakti, are as a re irrevocable faith uh, as it is in his uh, uh, his renditions are mainly focused on Lord Rama and uh, the the compositions bring about the faith in Lord Rama. Uh, there uh, also the lyrics of uh, Saint Tyagaraja are often in the form of dialogue where he converses with the God. Uh, seeking uh, divine response. Some of them are also in the form of exercise in self introspection, uh, like discourses on uh, God's glories and also on the philosophical expo uh, expositions highlighting the impermanence of human existence and of the worldly posi positions. Um, my next rendition would be uh, the very famous uh, Kirtane. Uh, Set composed by Saint Tyagaraja. Uh, it is uh, set to Hindola Raga, and uh, the Tala would be Adi Tala. And uh, it's uh, called as Samajavara Kamana. Uh, also, uh, in this rendition, I would like to bring about a little of innovation and spontaneity. Uh, whatever I sing uh, in the starting, which is known as uh, Alapane, is uh, is spontaneous, and it depend. It just uh, it is just my exposure to uh, the classical music that uh, takes in form as Alapane. Mm Na 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 na
semi there are a lot of uh, renditions uh, that can be performed in carnatic classical music and uh, i would also like to take uh, the names of uh, ms subhalakshmi and dk patamal who are like who are fame like 
famously known for the renditions and their uh, uh, their knowledge in this field of Carnatic classical music. But due to limitations of time, I would be uh, going on to the next uh, form of music. Uh, this uh, I would like to focus on uh, semi-classical and light classical performances that are uh, that emphasize more on uh, lyrical and uh, the the emotions that uh, that are there in the lyrics that are written in the form of a poetry uh, here uh, i would also like to say that in local language canada uh, most of the uh, cla semi classical music form is uh, encompassed by light music it is uh, collectively known as light music, which uh, involves Bhava Gita, Bhakti Gita, which is devotional, and Janapada Gita. Uh, Bhava in Kannada means emotion, and Gita means song. So, Bhava Gita essentially means a song uh, pertaining to a particular emotion. Uh, the subject of this form can be anything like nature, society, love, or respect. Um, also, I would like to bring up a point that the light the deepa which is the lamp here is different from the meaning of light music the light music means which is lightly based on the uh, classical uh, terminology of uh, classical music but it is more towards lyrical or poetical form it brings about the the emotions that are hidden uh, in the poetry uh, I would first uh, like to sing uh, my first rendition would be uh, written uh, it is written by uh, a famous composer BM Srikantaya uh, praising the light for its greatness and asking it to uh, lead the person's path uh, it also talks about uh, since I am stuck in the darkness. I would. Uh, I am hereby asking uh, the light to lead uh, my path. The night is dark, and I am far from home. I don't seek the distant scene, but only one step at a time. Uh, I would like to um, render this, but uh, my throat is drying, so please pardon me as I drink water. Musuki di mabinati kaihidi do nadesan nanu Karuna luba belake Musuki di mabinati kaihidi do nadesan nanu Irulu katalayagavi Mane dura kani karisi kai hidi do nade sennanu karuna lu ba belake musuki di ma benadi kai hidi do nade sennanu heli nannadi disu balu dura no tavanu. Kela doda ne saku nana gundu hedje heli nana di di su balu dura no tavanu kela doda ne saku nana gundu hedje muna inti rada de nina beda de ho de. Munna inti rada de, ninna beda de ho de, 
ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಕರುಣಾಳು ಬಾಬೆಳಕೆ ಮುಸುಕಿಡಿ ಮಬ್ಬೇನಲಿ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಇಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ಸಲಹಿರುವೆ ಈ ಮೂರ್ಖನನ್ನು ನೀನು ಮುಂದೆಯೂ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸದಿಹೆಯ ಇಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ಸಲಹಿರುವೆ ಈ ಮೂರ್ಖನನ್ನು ನೀನು ಮುಂದೆಯೂ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸದಿಹೆಯ ಕಷ್ಟದಡವಿಯ ಕಳೆದು ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಹೋಳಿಗಳ ಹಾದು ಕಷ್ಟದಡವಿಯ ಕಳೆದು ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಹೋಳಿಗಳ ಹಾದು ಈರುಳನ್ನು ನೂಕದಿಹೆಯ ಬೆಳಗಾಗದರಿಯದೆ ಹಿಂದೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಾನೊಲಿದು ಬೆಳಗಾಗದರಿಯದೆ ಹಿಂದೊಮ್ಮೆ ನಾನೊಲಿದು ಈ ನಡುವೆ ಕಳಕೊಂಡ ದಿವ್ಯ ಮುಖನ ಭೂತ ಕರುಣಾಳು ಬಾ ಬೆಳಕೆ ಮುಸುಕಿದಿ ಮಬ್ಬಿನಲಿ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಈರುಳು ಕತ್ ಸಲೆಯಾಗಲಿ ಮನೆ ದೂರ ಕನಿಕರಿಸಿ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಕರುಣಾಳು ಬಾ ಬೆಳಕೆ ಮುಸುಕಿದಿ ಮಬ್ಬಿನಲಿ ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಕೈ ಹಿಡಿದು ನಡೆಸನ್ನನು ಸೊ ದ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಾವಗೀತೆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎನ್ಕಾಂಪಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಪೋಯಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ so uh, there are many uh, other bhavgites which i i really wanted to uh, sing and render that but i don't think i can do that because of the restrictions but if in the q and a session if any of you have any uh, requests i think i can i would really be glad to take in uh, if it is in my capacity of singing uh, there is also a uh, uh, other uh, bhavagites which are one of them particularly uh, is um, when it comes to bhavagite the there are uh, many uh, poets which who come into picture but one of them and the main person is uh, rashtra kavi kuvempu uh, who has uh, written many poems which have been converted to bhavagite and are uh, composed by uh, musicians like uh, mysore anand swami for example uh, to uh, so that it reaches uh, large populations so one of them is uh, called muchu mare illade it uh, basically uh, is the poet is basically trying to say convey that uh, i without any hindrance or without i might have in, done many misdeeds or there might be both uh, evil and goodness in me uh, please uh, please accept me as it is and uh, here guru uh, is basically uh, he talks about his inner soul yeah. uh, and uh, yeah and uh, one more uh, very uh, popular song is uh, kanada kadalige it is uh, written by uh, dr g shorudrappa and the it is composed by c uh, ashwath i would uh, like to sing that and uh, i think after this i'll be taking in any 
uh, I'll be going into the QA session. Yeah. Kanada Kadalige Humbali Side Mana Kanada Kadalige Humbali Side Mana Mana Karnada Kadali Ge Humbali Side Mana Karnada Kadali Ge Humbali Side Mana Karnabalene Undu Dina Kadalanu Kuda Balene Undu Dina Karnabalene Undu Dina Kadalanu Kuda Balene Undu Dina Karnada Kadali Ge Humbali Side Mana Karnada Kadalina Moneta the Jogula Pola give a gindu kiluti de Nana kalpani yo tana kadalane Chitrisi chintisi suyuti de Yeli rudo adu Yenti rudo adu Noda balene Vandu dina Kadalanu Kuda balene Vandu dina Noda balene Vandu dina Kadalanu Kuda balene Vandu dina Karnada Kadali ge Humbali side Mana Savira hole galu Tumbi hari daru Vande samana Gihudante Sunila Vistara Taranga Shobita Gambi Rambudi Tanante Muni Rante Aparavante Noda Balene Vandudina Adarulu Karagalare Ne Vandudina Karna Balene Vandudina Adarulu Karagalare Ne Vandudina Karna Da Kadali Ge Humbali Side Mana Jatila Karna Da Kutila Kathagalali Hari Vatore Yonanu Yendi Gadaru Karna Da Kadalan Sera Balene Jatila Karna Da Kutila Pathagalali Hari Vatore Yonanu Yendi Gadaru Karna Da Kadalan Sera Balene Sera Bahude Nanu Kadalani Dinulu Karaga Bahude Nanu Karaga Bahude Nanu Karaga Bahude Nanu I could explain the meaning of this song, but I think I'm really little to understand the meaning of this song. But it basically uh, talks about a small stream of water, which is in uh, which knows its destination is uh, reaching the ocean, but it is uh, trying to uh, trying 
trying to uh, trying to say or like is confused whether it can go it can reach or it can make up to the destination which is known so the destination is known but the path is unknown and it speaks about that yeah and uh, by this i would uh, like to end my rendition and presentation i would now take a uh, q and a anything like fee please feel free to share your interests thoughts experiences or questions or if you have any song requests that i am capable of singing of then i would really be more than happy to take that Uh, okay um there uh okay i have got a song request for muchu mare i think i'll be taking that up i'm reading the uh, chat now so yeah just a second um yeah Um, uh, this is uh, composed this is a po poem which is written by uh, kuempu rashtra kavi kuempu and it is uh, the music is composed by uh, one of the very famous composers in uh, karnataka uh, who is called as mysuru ananta swami muchumare illade ನಿನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆಲ್ಲವನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿಡುವೆಯೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ಮುಚ್ಚುಮರೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆಲ್ಲವನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿಡುವೆಯೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ಪಾಪವಿದೆ ಪುಣ್ಯವಿದೆ ನರ ಕವಿದೆ ನಾಕವಿದೆ ಪಾಪವಿದೆ ಪುಣ್ಯವಿದೆ ನರ ಕವಿದೆ ನಾಕವಿದೆ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ಮುಚ್ಚುಮರೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆಲ್ಲವನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿಡುವೆಯೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ರವಿಗೆ ಕಾಂತಿಯ ನೀವ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣೀಕ್ಷಿಸಲು ಪಾಪತ ನುಡಿಯುವುದೇ ಪಾಪವಾಗಿ ರವಿಗೆ ಕಾಂತಿಯ ನೀವ ನಿನ್ನ ಕಣ್ಣೀಕ್ಷಿಸಲು ಪಾಪತ ನುಡಿಯುವುದೇ ಪಾಪವಾಗಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತಾನು ಭವಿಪ ನಿನ್ನಡಿಯ ಸೋಂಕಿಂಗೆ ಗಂಗೆ ತಾನು ಭವಿಪ ನಿನ್ನಡಿಯ ಸೋಂಕಿಂಗೆ ನರಕತ ನುಡಿಯುವುದೇ ನರಕವಾಗಿ ಮುಚ್ಚುಮರೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆಲ್ಲವನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿಡುವೆಯೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ 
ಸಾಂತರೀತಿಯನೆಮ್ಮಿ ಕದಡಿ ಹುದು ಎನ್ನಾತ್ಮ ನಾಂತರೀತಿಯಳೆಂತೋ ಅನಂತ ಸಾಂತರೀತಿಯನೆಮ್ಮಿ ಕದಡಿ ಹುದು ಎನ್ನಾತ್ಮ ನಾಂತರೀತಿಯಲೆಂತೋ ಓ ಅನಂತ ನನ್ನ ನೀತಿಯ ಕುರುಡಿ ನಿನ್ನ ರಕ್ಷಿಸ ನನ್ನ ನೀತಿಯ ಕುರುಡಿ ನಿಂದೆನ್ನ ರಕ್ಷಿಸ ನಿನ್ನ ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಬೆಳಕಿನ ನಂದ ಕೊಯ್ ಮುಚ್ಚು ಮರೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಮುಂದೆಲ್ಲವನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿಡುವೆ ಓ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ಪಾಪವಿದೆ ಪುಣ್ಯವಿದೆ ನರಕವಿದೆ ನಾಕವಿದೆ ಪಾಪವಿದೆ ಪುಣ್ಯವಿದೆ ನರಕವಿದೆ ನಾಕವಿದೆ ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸೋ ಗುರುವೆ ಅಂತರಾತ್ಮ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಯಾ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿಯಲಿ ನೈಸ್ ಹಾಯ್ ಪೂಜಾ Hi. Yeah. Hi, this is Chaitra. Yeah. I'm so happy to listen to you. I am a Karnatic vocalist as well. Thank you. Thank you. It means uh, a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Especially, I'm also from Mysore, so when I listen okay. to the Bhava Gita, I really got choked up. You know, it was so nice to listen. Thank you. Um, there is one about a lady with a ungura, the ring. They say there's a lady with a, just a solitary ring or... there's a bhava gita i forget the starting do you happen to know that um i don't about a young lady who's just searching for uh... i i really don't uh, know okay. but i would be really glad to get back to you after searching sure. a little more yeah yeah sure yeah thank you thanks a lot yeah uh any more um i would also like i mean i can sing a few ghazals so if anyone is interested to listen to one of those i would be more than happy to sing yeah yes please okay <laughs> thanks uh, yeah. uh i would be uh presenting um aaj jaane ki zid na karo uh it is uh it is very famously uh, rendered and beautifully rendered by uh, farida khanum ಜಾನೆ ಕಿಜಿದ ನಾ ಜಾನೆ ಕಿಜಿದ ನಾ ಜಾನೆ ಕಿಜಿದ ನಾ ಯೂಹಿ ಪಹಲು ಮೇ ಬೈಠೆ ರೂಹಿ ಪಹಲು ಮೇ ಬೈಠೆ ರಾನೆ ಕಿಜಿದ ನಾ ಹಾಯ ಮರ ಜಾಂಗೆ ಹಮ್ ತೋ ಲುಟ ಜಾಂಗೆ ಐಸಿ ಬಾತೆ ಕಿಯೋ ಆಜ ಜಾನೆ ಕಿಜಿದ ನಾ ಕರೋ 
तुम ही सोचो जरा क्यों न रोके तुम्हें जान जाती है जब उठ के जाते हो तुम तुम ही सोचो जरा क्यों न रोके तुम्हें जान जाती है जब उठ के जाते हो तुम तुमको अपनी कसम जान जा बात इतनी मेरी मान लो आज जाने की जिद ना करो वक्त के पैर में जिंदगी है मगर वक्त के पैर में जिंदगी है मगर चंद घड़िया यही है जो आजाद है चंद घड़िया यही है जो आजाद है इनको खो गए मेरे जान जा उम्र भर ना तरसते रहो आज जाने की जिद ना करो यू ही पहलू में बैठे रहो यू ही पहलू में बैठे रहो आज जाने की जिद ना करो या एनी मोर थॉट्स एक्सपीरियंसेस एनी वन इज वेलकम टू शेयर um okay i just can you please sing any rajonand swami song um if you could suggest any i would really uh, be happy to sing that if i am aware of it um i i really don't think i know any uh song okay yava mohana any other which i am i know the song but i don't think i can okay yade tum bhi hard again okay cool i think i can sing that yeah mm i would be uh, singing uh, one uh, one paragraph of that uh because yeah because of the time limitations otherwise i would be more than happy to sing ye de tum bhi haad denu andunanu mana vittu kelidiri halli neevu ये तुम बिहारी देनु अंदु नानु मन विट्टु के अली ये दे तुम बिहारी देनु अंदु नानु इंदु नाड़ो अंदिन ಕುಳಿತು ಕೇಳುವಿ ಸಾಕೆನಗೆ ಅದುವೆ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಇಂದು ನಾಡಿದರು ಅಂದಿನಂತೆ ಕುಳಿತು ಕೇಳುವಿ ಸಾಕೆನಗೆ ಅದುವೆ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಹಾಡು ಹಕ್ಕ ಕಿಗೆ ಬೇಕೆ ಹಾಡು ಹಕ್ಕಿಗೆ ಬೇಕೆ ಬ 
ಬಿರುದು ಸನ್ಮಾನ ಎದೆ ತುಂಬಿ ಹಾಡಿದೆನು ಅಂದು ನಾನು ಮನವಿಟ್ಟು ಕೇಳಿದಿರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಎದೆ ತುಂಬಿ ಹಾಡಿದೆನು ಅಂದು ನಾನು ಅದರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹೂ ಟುಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಟೈಟ್ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಐ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮೈ ಗುರುಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಗುರುಸ್ ಹೂ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ಡ್ ಮೀ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಮೀ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ the taste in music that i have uh, i also would like to thank my uh, friends who are here and uh, they have their uh, presence itself is an encouragement for me uh, i also would like to thank last but not never the least my parents and my sister who have always encouraged me and who have literally held my hand and um, you know taken me to music classes and i would really like uh, to thank them like wholeheartedly yeah and i think they are here um, like even though they are miles apart yeah i would like to thank them yeah i would uh, randy if you would uh, stop the recording